Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. I told you I was going to go live. And I am live, guys. So, first of all, let me go on here and make sure my camera is well. Um, you know, I wear glasses, so I and sometimes I reach for my glasses, sometimes I'm, I'm all over the place, so I got to make sure I am on. Okay, it looks like everything is good. Good evening and great Sunday to everybody. Um, this is Sofa Chats with Vaughn, which is part of the Lifestyle Change show. Um, we are really doing some work on this show. You are going to love the show. I'm telling you guys. I have some producers. I have some stylists. I am really, really putting a lot, a lot of work into uh, this show. And it is going to be awesome. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. Um, first of all, uh, I, I definitely want to, you know, talk with you all. and want you to know a lot about me. Because going into my show, guess what? You're not going to watch somebody unless you know who they are, right? So today, I um, just want to let you know, first of all, um, I am a doctoral student. Um, I'm getting my PhD in psychology with a concentration in counseling psychology. Um, let me tell you all something. I was not going to start school last year, but God had a different plan. He said, yes, you are. So I said, okay, God, if that's what we're going to do, that's what we're going to do. So that's where I am. I got a lot of things around me to keep me motivated today. I have my stress therapy tea. Um, that's this stress therapy tea, guys, has cinnamon, um, lavender in it. Really good. Um, so you know, I love my cups, and I keep my cups. And today's cup says, "Building an empire." That's today. Ooh, I love it. Building an empire. I love it. That's what we're doing. We're going to build some empires today, right? We're going to have some positive thinking. We're going to have some light in our lives. Look at that. Building our empire today. I'm going to take a sip of my tea so we can get right to it. One of the things I want to tell you all, guys, is this. If you have a project and you're doing something and you're, you're trying to kick some things off, understand that you're going to have a lot of people that won't follow you. They won't support you, and that's fine. Um, they won't believe in you, and that's fine. Because for me, only person that need to believe in me is me and the man upstairs. You understand? So let me just lay that groundwork, okay? So today we're going to talk about um, people who absorb other people's emotions, okay? Now you know these people, and you know that you might be this person because I was this person. Um, where you can just really empathize with other people and you absorb their emotions and what's, what they're going through and all those things. But let me tell you, sometimes it can be dangerous and it can be sabotaging to your own self-care, okay? Now, for a lot of people that are educated out there, I, I do have my notes right here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring them up because I want you to really understand uh, what I'm saying, um, being a person that has empathy. Now, there are seven things that you can do to help you kind of guard your feelings, guard yourself, right? Okay, so the first one is naming that feeling. Okay, so we need to name what kind of feeling that we're, we're having at that time. Sometimes we absorb people's feelings and we don't know if it's our feelings or their feelings, right? Every time we turn around, we're feeling, you know, we're getting all this information that this person's pouring into us, but we don't know if it's their feelings or our feelings. So we got to separate that thing, right? So we have to separate, name the feeling. What is it that's going on with you? All right. Then after you name that feeling, you need to ground yourself. Now, um, a lot of counselors do what we call groundwork, you know, uh, where we kind of ground ourselves um, as, as part of mindfulness. Um, I don't know if anybody understands that, but you can also look it up. Uh, so grounding means, you know, the here and now, bringing yourself back 
to the here and now. Now you can concentrate on an object in the room. Um, I have a salt lamp that I have on my desk, so sometimes when I have to ground, I may look at that salt lamp, just, you know, focus on just that salt lamp, or I might focus on uh, a picture in, in my office. Wherever you are, pick something and focus on it so that you can ground yourself, okay? So the next thing, like I said, I got my notes here, right, guys? So we know that we have to separate our feelings, right? And then we have to ground ourselves, right? So we have to be self-aware, self-aware of those feelings. And one of the things is that we have to have strong boundaries. Now, this is one, one of the things that I would say is the most important. Because it's good to help people. You can't help everybody, baby. Let me tell you right now, it ain't going to happen. You're not going to. But one thing you can do is if you know that every time you start talk to this person, you absorb that person's feelings, then you might want to limit the times that you talk to this person. Or you might have want to have a conversation and say, hey, you know, I know that you're going through things. Maybe, you know, you need a therapist or maybe you need a, 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 a life coach to help you with these things. You can still be a friend in those ways and, and still have those boundaries for yourself. Okay, it's nothing wrong with being empathetic, you know, um, it's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we're to the point where we're so empathetic that we just carry on everybody else's feelings. And like I said, I used to do that. I, I, I used to do it, I'm telling you, and it is one thing that will drain you. It will drain you. Um, and I'm just here to tell you guys, you can't save everybody. Um, yes, Achenere, uh, yes, boundaries. We have to have those boundaries. And boundaries does not mean that you don't like anybody. Boundaries don't mean that you, you're you being ugly and mean. See, that's the other thing. You know, people will be like, oh, well, is she trying to be funny? You know? No, I'm trying to, to, to safeguard me so I can show up fresh every day. I can't have you dumping things on me all the time. That's not good, you know. And then you can't show up. You can't show up from your family. You can't show up from because let me tell you something. Even your family, you gotta have some boundaries with them too. Now I'm, I'm telling you what I know. I tell you what I know. Um, so I'm getting ready to do a sofa chat, right? Um, some tea right here. I told you this is my. I love this tea. So when I was growing up, in my last video, I was telling you that I used to, you know, watch the clouds and watch the stars and just really, really visualize myself doing this. One of the things that I used to do is, as a child, I had a great imagination. And I thank my parents for that because, you know, today's children, and, and like I said, you know, I don't know anybody's household, but I, I know is, you know, what I do and the work that I do and what I see. And a lot of these children, excuse me, they don't have imagination. You know, they, they're they always in the house, on the computer, that kind of thing. But you got to get people out. You got to get them, these children out and get their imagination, imagination, excuse me, flowing. I remember teaching a Sunday school class one time and I said, hey, imagine such and such and such and such, you know. I had one kid tell me, what does that mean? I was like, oh, God, God. Okay, so now I got to, you know, get the definition of imagine, you know, and imagine yourself doing this and imagine yourself doing that. Imagination is still relevant today as an adult because what you're going to do is imagine yourself. Focus on yourself being in the situations that are greater than what you are now. I do that. I know people say, oh, well, you know, you just got to, you know, put in the work. Absolutely definitely got to put in the work but I put it down I write it down I imagine myself in the situation and I work it I've been doing that all my life have they all panned out no they haven't but you got to put in the work because you don't want to at the end of your life say oh, I should have could have would no at least if you do it then you can say you know what I did that it didn't work I found some way of another way to do something so keep pushing take care of yourself watch your boundaries 
You can't help everybody. Okay? And you'll be okay. You'll be okay. This not going microphone don't want to be great today, but it's gonna be great. Um I just love talking to you guys. I love you know coming on here and giving you some tidbits. These things, I'm not an expert. Let me just go ahead and put that out first. I'm not. But what I am is a life expert. So I've gone through life and I'm telling you the things that help me. Um, so I'm giving them to you. So I want you to go on Facebook, find the Lifestyles Change Show. Please, you know, like it and follow. You need to go to YouTube, the Lifestyle Change Show, and subscribe. Because I'm telling you, when my stuff start going, y'all, that's where it's going to go. And I want you to be there because I want to be able to connect with you. I want to be able to uh, love on you. But uh, one thing that you need to do is start loving on yourself. Do not, do not try to get other people to do that for you. You better just do it for yourself. Okay? So, I am out. And, you know, like I said, I love my cups, but I got my shirt on. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. You see that? Be your own kind of beautiful. Be your own kind of beautiful. Watch your boundaries. Hello, Sora Lambert. How are you? Watch them, okay? And tell people. Share the video. I don't mind. If you need to talk to me, you can reach me at ylynn1971 at gmail. Send me a question. I don't mind. I don't. Hey. Hey, Tootie. How are you, honey? Love on yourself, guys. And I'm getting ready to go. And it was great giving you those tidbits information. And I will be back soon. I love you guys. Bye.